What is going on, you lunatics? Guys, we're going to start with price action today because guess what? Luna Classic is pumping again. And guess what else is happening? In a couple of days, uh, three days to be exact, there's going to be a burn. There's another burn coming from Binance, two and a half days, I think, at this point. And what does that mean? Well, guys, I've laid it out for you on a chart. I've shown you what the chart looks like. I've shown you what I expect to see happen. And wouldn't you believe that exactly what I keep telling you is going to happen continues to happen? If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified of future content. We're also going to check out Galactic Shift today. If you haven't already, if you missed one of those videos, today's going to be the day uh, because I think we've got a little bit of a move coming from Luna Classic. Uh, it's consolidating in an upward fashion. Now, um, I, I do want to be honest with you. If the sellers decide that they've made enough profit or if the, the progress starts to slow down, it's going to cause a dump. Um, so we're going to see right now what we're made of as a community. Again, you should support your community. I can't tell you what to do, but if you are looking for uh, a pump or something like that today, right now might be the time to kind of get in and figure out where you fit on all of this ecosystem because that's going to be important too. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, uh, this is what I gave you yesterday. This is I showed you what I thought was going to happen, where we were going to end up. And wouldn't you believe we ended up exactly where I said I put the little line here yesterday for you uh, to tell you that, you know, this is where I expect we're going to have a little bit of a chop or resistance. Uh, and then after that, that we're gonna have a breakout probably up into this range right here. Now, this range, of course, comes in about two weeks. This could happen a lot sooner because if you notice here, uh, this decline a little more robust on the way back up. We seem to be in a much better channel over the. And by the way, this is short term, so this is nothing. This is nothing fantastic yet. More likely, uh, if you look and just kind of get an idea here, if we kind of zoom out just a little bit, you can see there's there really is a, just a trend line, and that trend line is heading into this uh, upward stratosphere, if you will. Now. Again, uh, I, I look at it a little more aggressive um, from the short term. So that usually means that there's some positivity sort of fomenting. Now, uh, here's the other part. What you're looking for down here, you're looking for a bearish divergence. Uh, you're seeing this low over here, right there. You're seeing this low over here, right there. So you're seeing we're not in a bearish divergence territory. We're actually continuing, just having a nice little continuation at this point. Now, the thing about it at this moment is we're consolidating right in this range. And as you can see, the RSI coming down just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And it, perhaps we're going to see um, a, a nice little reversal of the move. And that takes us up into this 12, 13 range, which I think, again, this is uh, my projection that we're just going to continue moving you know, a little bit upwards. And look, we're going to probably come down for some retesting. Again, if you just kind of grant that this line right here might be kind of your sort of litmus for what's going to happen. You might see this move down here a little bit more. You might see this kind of, and then maybe we get a test wick above it, uh, break down maybe below it uh, for the volatility. Uh, and then you see it tighten up a little bit and then boom, you start to get that little breakout. That's kind of what it looks like right now. I'm not sure how it, exactly it's going to play out. I'm just guessing. I'm just good at guessing. Uh, when it comes to the Luna Classic chart. So, um, and we're having a little bit of sell-off right now, but I mean, again, you know, a couple hours ago, we were up over 12. So, you know, you're starting to see life. If you, uh, USTC, uh, all, same thing, two and a half percent up. Uh, where did it go? Uh, wicked off exactly where I told you it was going to, whoops. I mean, guys, we don't make it up, right? We, we don't make it up. Uh, these are the, the ranges. Uh, this is trading. This is money transfer. Um, again, I, I think that now that we've had this wick that popped up here, um, you've got this, this kind of an impulse move, right? So where do you expect this impulse move to go? Take your fib retracement, come over here, check it out. So 0.224 most probably, uh, cause we got this nice little move. Now we're getting this breakdown. So the breakdown comes down here. Now, again, I don't think that there's a motive, a prime motivating factor for, uh, USTC at this point. So my bigger long-term prediction is, you know, maybe some fighting still in this range, but maybe a test coming down here into the twos again, and then kind of an expanding sort of volatility, if you will, again, chopping around this range coming up through here, maybe just maybe we get this as a test and then we start to make that breakout. Now that's short-term when you get to the longer term, 
on USTC, then you'll see it's a little more complicated to get that breakout, but uh, we're going to have to have that breakout at some point soon. Now, when you come out here, uh, you can see this whole thing happening. It's playing out over and over again, right? So you know, the question is, how far down do we come? Well, I don't think that we come down any further. Uh, I think that we use it as a back test and then potentially move a little bit sideways and then boom, you know, we get this big run. So, uh, and, and guys, I, I've explained it to you before. It looked like this, you know, kind of bang down here to, to come back up, get a test and then boom. Now over here, we're making that test up here at six cents at least one more time. Um, now I, I gave you 10 cents by the end of the year and, and I still want to hold to that for now. As you can see, time's running out, but <clears throat> it doesn't take much for USTC to really sort of pop off. So uh, if we, you know, if we come up with a mechanism, a, a way to, to handle some of the business needed here, uh, if we come up with something, then you, we can see a, a fantastic rally. Now, overall, the reason that we can see that fantastic rally on USTC, only 157 million market cap. Now, if we get that up into the 450 stratosphere, then, you know, burn, maybe find a way to burn a few more tokens, uh, get this into 500 million, uh, you know, in that range, then boom, if you know what I mean, uh, then we end up at about 10 cents. Uh, and it's very attainable, not that far away. So there's a big possibility. Now, as far as you, uh, as Luna Classic goes, uh, trading volume is up. Um, you know, pump the, the market cap is up a little bit. We'll have to see, you know, again, we, with a nice little wick coming up here. Now we're, we're taking profit, we're retesting. Uh, we'll see what this looks like. But uh, I think we're overall in pretty good straights at this point. So um, uh, long term, uh, it still remains to be seen. There's still some work to do. Uh, you know, we're not uh, we're not the end of this uh, journey. We're at the beginning still. So uh, let's move on here to the the, the Commonwealth, uh, the many ways of burning tax. And then uh, we've got uh, Lunk e Toro Community 23. Uh, and and it, it, it somebody is, uh, when the gentleman present this, there should be criteria to make a complete offer to be taken seriously. They need to be understandable. And what they're doing is, is basically complaining in a positive, polite way about the fact that, you know, these guys are coming out here with these proposals. And I had a comment in one of the videos, I think yesterday's video, where uh, a gentleman came in and said that I, you know, the, that, you know, we got to have some kind of tax or something like that. And why would you say that it wouldn't, you know, well, I mean, Binance said no, you know what I mean? They, they're not going to do it and nobody's going to do it. Everybody said no the last time. You're doing it because you um, need your bag to pump. That's not the ecosystem. And this right now is about the ecosystem and building into this ecosystem. You want to pump your bag so that you can sell or justify continuing to hold. I mean, and listen, you either believe in it or you don't believe it. So there will be a time for a pump. We're getting there. Just not, you know, again, I, I just showed you the, I just showed you the chart. So there is a time for a pump. So we'll see it pretty soon. It'll take some time. It, it will take some time. Over at Coin Hall, uh, you can see the activity is down, but Rakoff up 10% on the day. Tom and Jerry up 24% on the day. Tom and Jerry. I don't have any Tom and Jerry tokens. What is going on here? Um, uh, wait a minute. Maybe I do. Did I buy Tom and Jerry? No, no. I've got uh, Nmeme. I've got LNC. I've got Cookie. I've got Hmeme. I've got Lenny Lunk. I've got Lunk Pepe. Um, I've got re regular Luna Classic. Now I move. By the way, if you're you're following my wallet, then you'll know that I had a million uh, in Luna Classic in this wallet that's not staked. I was just kind of holding on to, you know, for a flip or something like that. I put it into base. So now I have it in in base token. I'm not sure where base is in the wallet. It doesn't really show up in the wallet. Uh, but the transaction is over there and I'm already in that mining pool. So, um, you know, if you haven't already, consider converting to base and earning some base. And then, you know, that, of course, becomes Luna Classic at a later point when you uh, when you unstake. So um, a different website, by the way, that's the El Bun Project, I want to say. I There's a lot of them. So, but move on. Uh, station, we've got a couple of things up for proposal. Of course, 3.0.1 is going through. Change mode of splitting burn tax, increasing support finance charity. Um, yeah, God damn it. Uh, it's not going to pass, okay? Uh, people come up with, with wild ideas, again, because they need their ego stroke. They need to uh, they need to see some progress or they don't want to hold. If that's a, that's if that's the case, it's cool. I mean, you know, don't be a holder anymore. It's, it's fine if you are not, you know what I mean? Uh, and then increase the burn tax, not going to pass. So uh, how did everybody vote? be the next question uh increase the burn tax here uh who voted yes jesus is lord jesus is lord too mm -hmm. um lunk swap vegas nodes uh people who voted no uh no with veto uh you know and then the people that have abstained because you know i mean 
look, our job is, and by the way, how you vote on this to me isn't really important, even though I just kind of pointed out uh, mockingly, Jesus is Lord voting yes to it, because I don't think that it's going to go through. And I think that it sows discord in people to um, to, to have these votes uh, this way, where, where it creates this big sort of split and divide, if you will. And to be fair, uh, I, don't, I don't really care uh, how much, I, 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 at, at my heart, I don't care. You know, the, the reason that we're voting no is to protect the relationship with Binance, but I don't give a shit about Binance. I, I mean, I really do. Um, they're burning, they're burning some, they're, bur they're burning tokens. I, I don't want to say it. They've burned 6 million tokens, so I better care, right? However, uh, if it's no longer there and the amount of burn becomes less or something like that, then it becomes imperative, by the way, on the chain to come up with a method. And that will lead, by the way, to an enormous sort of repeg proposal and if we can get a lender and uh, an anchor protocol, sort of, if you will, uh, and and get this all worked out because we're forced to, that actually I think might be for the better. So, you know, I'm talking myself out of voting, um, uh, voting no for this or no uh, with veto or anything like that. But I mean, what the hell, right? I'm just kidding. We're, we're not going to do that. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, uh, if you come around here, you can see how everybody votes. Of course, yeah, going to Lunk Dash if you're ever wondering. Lunk Metrics, 394 million. Of course, this is going to go up uh, pretty big in the next couple of days. Top 100 Lunk Burners, number one being Binance, now over 59 billion. So um, 41 wallets have been tracked for that. Uh, DF Lunk Protocol, 4.5 billion. So you know who's burning the tokens. You know who's doing you know, whatever they're doing. And uh, so I, I just, you know, kind of uh, let's hold on to that. Uh, you can see all the burns, by the way, here, if you want to. Uh, and you can see like, you know, the last burn right here. Um, uh, the That was the daily burn. Uh, the big burn this time was 1.4 billion on May the 1st. So, um, you know, it's gonna be less this month. Uh, so I, I don't think people are gonna like the, the result, uh, by the way. So you, know, you, you never know what it's gonna be, but I, I do know that mathematically we're not trading at a high volume. So probably gonna be a little bit less. Um, so. We'll see, uh, but let's get into uh, let's get into the the next project, the project of the day, if you will. If I'm skipping on uh, from from some of this because we're running short on time, uh, Galactic Shift. I want to present this to you again. Uh, this is the white paper. You can go to galactic galacticshift.io slash white paper, and you can read through the the white paper, which will tell you you know a little bit about the cards, uh, what the attributes are, attack, defense, health point, speed, energy cost, rarity. Very simple, very 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 simple, easy to understand. Um, the rarity, this explains to you what the rarity is. Um, uh, you have uh, 50, uh, the chances to get a card for each rarity by Galactic Shift starter pack and a booster pack. Pepe just hit an all-time high. And to celebrate, Cryptonomy.finance is giving away Pepe $10 up to $1,000, a total of $100,000 prize pool. Anybody who signs up today and follows the instructions that I'm about to give you will qualify for Pepe. First, follow Cryptonomy underscore Phi on X. Initiate a deposit at Cryptonomy.finance. Start staking or join the launch pool. We'll check my res results pretty soon. Uh, and then like and retweet, uh, retweet this post. The deadline is going to be June 15. It's open worldwide. So get in while you can right now. This Pepway giveaway is going to be a big one. Now, what am I looking like over here? Well, let's start with this one. Uh, I just earned 0.1012 Bitcoin. That was $600. Remember, we staked this back in November of last year. Uh, also, we staked another one in January for uh, a two-month, a three-month period. We locked it in. We got 0.037 Bitcoin. Uh, that is the equivalent of uh, $1,800. We made $2,400 in the last couple of months off of using the staking mechanism with Cryptonomy Binance. I took the longer term for the rest of these, and you can see that the accrued interest uh, expected so far. Now, I've earned in rewards, as you can see right here, about $2,400, but it's going to be $4,800 over the next couple of months. And remember, I've continued to stake and continue to stake and continue to stake because I'm looking uh, to get this through the bull run. And when the bull run comes, then... I say that I've earned this in dollars. It's not really even in dollars. It's in the crypto right now. Uh, and then hopefully that crypto price goes up and then you see it happening right there. But the big one, the big one is the launch pool. Uh, look at the returns that are coming through. We got 12X on Theta Knots. Uh, Verita, VDA, 1.37. Engines of Fury, 4X. Lifeform, 4.8X. Going down this list, you can see a lot of different launches, a lot of different big moves. TARS Protocol, 13X. You guys are familiar with TARS X. I've talked about them before. So 
If you want to earn some Pepe, then make sure you sign up at Cryptonomy.finance today. Make sure you follow uh, the X account. Uh, make sure that you like and retweet that. And then make sure you make a deposit and start staking either in the flexible, fixed, or launch pool today. Then you have characters and other cards. This ratio basically standard, I think, in the industry at this point in card games. I don't think there's anything uh, atypical about it, uh, except that they're they're not telling you what the legendary number is right there. Um, and this might add up to 100%, and I'm an idiot for that because it's 0.6% to get a, le a legendary in the booster pack. So maybe you just can't get a legendary out of the starter pack. So um, uh, then you have your types over here, and you have characters, items, powers, and traps. Uh, and then, of course, you have your heroes and what they have. Then you have your deck creation. It tells you exactly how to play this game. What does the game look like? Well, uh, let me give you the intro video. Video, uh, just a something of the logo, if you will. And the game is going to play a little bit like this. This is, again, this is something that you've seen uh, a thousand times before. This is just built on the Luna Classic ecosystem. Uh, and, you know, basically plays like a Pokemon card game. Basically plays like any one of the... Uh, famous card games, any TCG, uh, there's, you know, uh, the, the, there's a standard now that, that we use, and this follows pretty much the standard that you would play the game with. So make sure that you go check it out, galacticshift.io, if you are curious. And again, this is another something that's built in this ecosystem that you, if you are a fan of uh, TCGs, then why are you not playing? You know what I mean? Like, why are you not invested in it? Why are you not checking it out? So I would encourage you and urge you to go check this out. Um, here's the minting. Now, if you're minting, by the way, um, then you can come over here and you can talk about how to mint with the NFT. Click on home up here. Uh, check out the white paper. These are some of the, the images that you go. Uh, and then there's the validator, the Galactic Shift validator, uh, how you can contact. And then there's the card. You connect your wallet and you can check those out um if you you have any cards so um that's it guys make sure you go check out galacticshift.io and none of this is possible by the way without the 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 support of terraport terraport.finance if you want to do some trading the great place to go do it they in fact do burn luna classic on every single transaction so if you're not making transactions you should be and the place that you should be doing it would be terraport.finance uh, every single day and terra casino if you like risk-based gaming, if you uh, maybe have some Bitcoin and you want to earn some more uh, with some risk-based gaming, uh, if you want to uh, try with Ethereum, you can try with XRP, you can try with Luna Classic, obviously. And again, uh, they're going to use that as a burn mechanism as well. And if I were to come over here and to show you who the top burners are, then you will see that in the top 100 burners, uh, Terra Casino comes in at number, uh, hold on, uh, number eight and Terraport Finance, number 14. Now you add those together and that means that they are just shy of the top five in all time burns. And the more activity you commit to that system, uh, either Terraport or Terra Casino, then the bigger this ends up going. More than Happy Caddy Crypto, by the way, um, uh, with, with this whole thing. Terra Casino burned more than KuCoin. Terra Casino more than the Lunk Burn app, more than the Lunasphere token, more than Bybit. I mean, that's a lot. So I would encourage you to go check out uh, Terra Casino and Terraport Finance uh, and do it today. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.